Welcome back to our tech. Today we're going to review the SmoothQ gimbal from Zion. I picked this up from AliExpress and they shipped it to me via DHL. Uh, it was not available in my country so I had to pay the import duty on this. It's very well packed as you can see. I paid about 13k or about $160 per shipping. This is made by Zion and they make a lot of gimbals. A uh, gimbal is actually, I mean, for those of you who don't know, a gimbal can be used to stabilize video, which is shot on a mobile phone or a camera. So this one specifically built for a mobile phone. So this is how the box looks, very neatly packed. It's got a nice plastic coating on the outer box as well. Uh, they provide a carrying case as well as a USB charging cable. So this one's made by Zion and they have, uh, they, you know, this can support phones up to 220 grams. So in case you have an iPhone 7 Plus, this can work on that as well. I'm going to use it with the OnePlus 3. So it's uh, supposed to be a competitor for the DJI Osmo, which is one of the well-known names for uh, mobile phone gimbals. Just that, you know, this cost nearly half of what the DJI Osmo will cost. I just wanted to get my hands on this as soon as I can because this can shoot some amazing video. So I have some test shots which uh, you will see at the end of the video and that those are shot on the OnePlus 3. I'm not a professional but I did my best to show you what it can do and how stable it can be. And uh, this can be customized with an app. So that's the carrying case. It, it looks like a small violin and very, very good quality case. So they've also thrown in the flat cable, which I will show you. This is the charging cable. It's a micro USB cable. Remember your phone can also be charged with the gimbal because it's got a built-in battery that can also charge a phone battery on the go. And you can also charge the gimbal on the go that means if you're using it for long hours, you can still plug it into an adapter and it'll still continue to work as you charge it. So that's one of the best features about this. You also have a small manual and a carrying belt for the case. So there is a manual, a very well laid manual. It's not one of those papers. I mean, this has got detailed instructions on it. Okay, so let's keep that aside. Look at that quality of the carrying case it's it's so well built you know the zippers are so good it's got a logo of Zion on it and I really think this is a quality product for the price you pay okay there is a device and a and an apt case for the gimbal to be carried around very compact the gimbal itself is uh, not very heavy it's about 490 grams and it's got a 26,650 mAh battery so that's a huge battery which can run for about 12 hours and it can also charge your phone on the go that's an amazing feature which I don't think anybody else has thought about yet so that's the build quality very good quality plastic the handle is not as grippy as the DJI Osmo, as you would have heard from other reviews as well. But uh, the build quality isn't bad. It's it's nice. It's just that you have to be a little careful with the handle grip here. So it's got this uh, spring-loaded clip and a nice rubber cushion for your phone. Just make sure you don't turn this on without putting your phone because it's going to damage the gimbal. Even the you know rear of the motors have this great finish. It's also got the tripod mount at the bottom, which is very well placed. And you can keep this on a tripod and control it 
with another device. So all in all, some good features included. Let's go ahead and mount uh, a phone just to show you guys how easy it is to be done. And before that, I'm just going to install the Zion Assistant app. I'm just going to speed this up. Okay, so remember the iPhone's got more options on the Zion app. They're yet to launch an Android version app for the Smooth Q specifically. So that's the thumb screw. Just make sure that the phone is balanced. So when I say balanced, it's just gonna be, make sure your phone looks horizontally balanced and you can use the thumb screw to adjust the weight and move the arm around so that it stays stable. Once you do that, just press the red button, which I just pressed and the gimbal comes to life. So here's the app. Uh, the Android app is very basic, but lets you do some good controls. You know, uh, lets you uh, adjust the speed of the pan and the tilt. So it connects via Bluetooth. So just make sure you put on Bluetooth and You'll find that the light keeps blinking till you connect. So once you connect, it gives you basic stats, battery life, the access, etc. So if I click on camera, the reason why I installed the camera app on this is to show you the face tracking, which is one of the key features of their app. I'm going to use a small subject, my daughter, on this so that she can, you know, show us how it's going to track a, an object. <laughs> okay, there she is. It's a little too fast for the gimbal, but let's hope it works. All right, so for this, you just click that button with a dot on the square and you just have to draw around an object. And I'm just going to draw it around a face. And there you see. The gimbal will actually move wherever the object moves or wherever the face moves. Unfortunately, it's not perfect. It's it's still doing okay. I mean, it's it's not as good as the DJI Osmo, which uh, you would have seen as well again, but it does a decent job. So if you're doing a small uh, vlogging session, it can track your face if you move slowly and um, it should it should be good enough. Right, so if, if you're not too fast, it can track you well. And it's a beautiful feature if you mount this on a tripod. Okay, she's trying to hide. <laughs> so yeah, it's not as effective, you know, when it, when someone's, when the subject moves out of, uh, out of the frame, it cannot track it. It's got three modes. One is, uh, you know, the follow me mode. By default, it stays on horizontal axis so that it doesn't pan up and down. And uh, when you click a button, it goes to the follow me mode. I'm just not able to show you clearly. Yeah, so in this mode, you can actually move the gimbal side by side and it'll hold the vertical axis steady. And then we have the lockdown mode, which means no matter what you do, the gimbal will hold the focus in the same place. So that's the lockdown mode. No matter what you do, it's gonna face the camera in the same location. It's pretty useful when you're shooting something outside. We'll see that later. You also have uh, another mode where the camera tilts backwards for a selfie. Obviously, uh, the camera at the back has got more megapixels in it, so you have that mode as well. Let's move on to the actual footage, which I've shot with this. I tried my best to keep it looking good, but you guys can be the judge. It's shot with the OnePlus 3. Here you go.
So initially you would see that you know the panning is too quick, it looks a little unreal. So that's when the app comes into picture. You can actually slow down that the panning and the tilting of the gimbal by adjusting the, the metrics in the app, which I do a little later.
hope you like the clips and once you do all that you can just comfortably come home remove the camera and put this thing back into the case and it fits in so easily just remember if you've used the adjustment screw you'll not be able to put it back in the case easily but other than that the case works amazing if you have any queries drop in your comments that's my small review on the Zion Smooth Q. Thank you so much for watching our tech. Please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.